Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Mabel. For those of you that are new here, thank you for joining me. And for those of you that are returning, welcome back. Um, I'm Mabel and I make content all about living your best life here in the UAE. And this video is a follow up to two of my other videos all about free zones. If you've not watched them already, I recommend you do check those out because they're kind of more uh, general, bit of a QA, and a bit of a... Um, kind of need to know, but what I thought I would do in this video, because those other two have just gone so well and people keep sliding into my DMs, I thought I would do a kind of like two year on review of the free zone that I've been with um, and the kind of common questions that I still get asked. Um, that, and also, just as a side note, because I've had this question as well, my free zone don't pay me to do this, by the way. I made a video about them, um, and then they then said, oh, we've had loads of people come from your YouTube video, we'll make you your own link. So they've actually made me a form that you can just fill in, and I'll put it in the description. Um, and it's great to know that so many of you are finding this so helpful, but I know how hard it is, and I know how stressful it is trying to find information about free zones in the UAE, because I've been there. Anyway, like I said, there's two other videos that I think will help you if you're completely new, but I thought I'd do just like a two years on and I think um, it's, you know, a lot of the questions I get asked now is, do you still recommend them, you know, now that you've kind of been with them for two years and, and how's it going? Um, and the answer is, yeah, I still recommend them. I think they're great. Um, I think I've had a really, really positive experience and hearing from um, the people that have connected to me through my YouTube channel that I've helped um, and that have set up their businesses with SVC, it's been very, very positive. So to answer that question, yes, I do still recommend them. Um, everything that I, I stand by everything I said in my other video here, now we're in January, 2024, and I still think they're the best free zone here in the UAE. Um, one thing that I think is um, really good to highlight is that they actually give you 90 days warning about their renewal process. So you know you have to renew your license every single year. Um, the 90 days for me has just passed and it just reminded me that I need to mention this in this video because I think it's so good that they give you all that time so that you can renew. And um, I, you know, if you're the kind of person, a busy business owner like me, then you do need to kind of make time for these things and keep track of these things. So a very big positive for me is the communication. You know, they'll always email you if they need something, if something is um, coming up, if a payment is coming up, if something is expiring, um, they will let you know which is good, and I don't wanna to dwell too much on my old free zone, but if you have watched my other video, I talk about it in this, but basically, when I was first starting out, I set up with this other free zone, Rack Easy, and they're one to avoid because they didn't inform me that I needed, and I, you know, I didn't know what I was doing, I'm, I was new to all of this. Anyway, they didn't inform me um, about some of the processes, and I ended up being fined quite heavily because I just didn't know. And I think that's the biggest kind of scary thing for people that are choosing a free zone and that are literally setting up a business in a country that you know you're not from here. You you know you've maybe not even been here before or not been here very long. I think that's the scariest thing. So with the free zone that I'm with now, I haven't had any problems like that. They've always been very like proactive to like involve me as they should as they should, you know, really as they should. Um, let's have a look at some of the questions that people have been asking me. So I know that one of them is about the office space. So this was another problem and I, meant, I think I mentioned this in this other video, so I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself a bit, but for anybody that doesn't know, um, on the license that I have, you can have up to six visas without having a office space rented which is so good, like, it's so good. I feel like we're in the world of co-working. We're literally in the, in like the, the, the age of co-working and that is what we need. And SVC have a co-working, um, me uh, not membership, a co-working contract. So you do have to have a business address, you have to have something, which is why I've opted for this one where I get the co-working. Um, it's much more affordable than with the previous free zone, like I said, Rocky Z. They were trying to get me to sign a lease on this office space and it was horrendous. It was in the middle of the desert and it was I, I would never use it, it was awful. Um, anyway, co-working, yes. And so this is another question that I get. You can have um, unlimited use of this co-working space and you get four hours uh, meeting room time every month, which I think is good to note. So that was another question um, that came up 
a lot of you guys. Let me just scroll through. Um, okay, had a lot of questions also about banking for businesses. Um, so let's just clarify, the free zone does not operate um, your banking as well. You will need a separate bank account with one of the many banks that are available here in the UAE. If you want my, my recommendation, which I'm assuming you do because you've sat down to watch this video, then I recommend Wio Bank or it might be pronounced Wyo Bank. I actually don't know, but they're quite new. Um, I've had a Wyo account for I think just over a year and I was really pleased with how quick the setup process was, really pleased. And it's just an app, you just download it on your phone, which is great. Like with my old business bank, I had to like go and queue up somewhere in Dubai. And I know that's like, oh my God, first world problems, you had to go and queue up somewhere, but like it took like an hour. It's long, like other side of Dubai, like, I don't want to do that. I want it to be on an app. So I thought Wyo or Wio was really good. They will ask for some uh, documents. They will ask for a proof of address. It doesn't need to be your personal address if you've just moved here. You can use your SPC um, co-working contract that I just mentioned. So don't worry too much about that. They'll also uh, ask for a copy of your board resolution and your power of attorney. All of these things, SPC or, or whatever free zone you do decide to choose, um, they'll hand those over. So I wouldn't worry too much about that. It'll be very quick. You'll just need your Emirates ID. So remember visa first, then bank account second. Um, but your license, okay, one, one question that comes up all the time, I'm just looking, is how long does it take? Your license can be same day if you pay for it, you know, because because the, SPC themselves operate that. It's the visa that is going to take a couple of weeks, okay? Your visa is going to take a couple of weeks, but that's fine because most people in fact, I was going to say most people, but I actually don't know. So let me retract that. I really don't know for other nationalities, but for most European nationalities that I'm aware of, you get 30 days on a tourist visa when you arrive in the UAE. And then I think you get 10 days, like you get maximum 40 days, something like that. I think it's 30 days and then 10 buffer days or something like that. So that's plenty of time for you to set up your um, residence visa when you arrive. Um, Okay, another question. SBC have followed up with me after I filled in your form. They're asking for a questionnaire to fill about the company. Yes, this is true. They are gonna ask you for things like your job history and your kind of business plan, really. This is basically just to check that you are, well, a real business, you know? It does need to be like a, 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 a real business plan. Um, I, I think the reason that they ask you all these questions and they ask you that your job history is to avoid anybody abusing the scheme and you know maybe having some i don't know illegal activities um that is why they do that i wouldn't stress about this too much though i filled this all out when i was 22 23 and i barely had a plan looking back now i'm like oh my god i didn't have a plan i just said to them i want to start a social media agency i'm a social media manager i've been working in social media for four years like just gave them my um gave them my cv and that was it. They didn't really ask any questions. So if you're like stressing over this and stressing about your business plan, don't stress too much. Um, in my experience, it might be different for other industries. So I hope that you're gonna have as good an experience as me. But for me in marketing, I really had a very seamless process. So it really worked out. Okay, let's see what other questions um, I can get. Do they speak English? Yes, they do speak English. Okay, I know that feels like kind of a basic question and I think a lot of like native English speakers are kind of always expecting every country that they go to to just like speak perfect in English. Um, and luckily at SPC, I've been in touch with a lot of people um, at SPC that it, English is definitely their native language and it's very easy to communicate with them. So I feel very um, lucky in a way to be able to communicate so well. As for other languages, if you're watching this, I just thought if anybody is watching this and their English isn't as good as mine, then I'm sorry I'm speaking so fast because <laughs> I just had to check myself then. Um, then I hope that they'll be able to help you in whatever language you need. Um, but that's actually something I should look into because I'm not 100% sure. Okay, whatever comments have we had? Oh my goodness, you guys really love... Um, Love this video, but I'm so glad I could help so many of you. Okay, good question here. Um, on the visa that you get, um, how often do you have to be in the country? Basically, you need to be in the UAE um, 
maximum, uh, sorry, minimum once every six months. So you can't let six months go by and not be in the country because they will cancel your investor visa, as far as I'm aware. Um, okay, and let's see. Okay, quite a few questions about credit cards. For the credit cards, it depends on the bank. Um, I think I did mention this in the other video, but I'll repeat it anyway. For the credit cards, it does depend on the bank that you choose. Um, some banks won't allow you to get a credit card with the investor visa. So just um, choose your bank accordingly. For me, I don't have any personal experience in this area because I actually got my UAE credit card before I had my um, free zone set up. Okay. Rent an office, blah, blah, blah. Okay, can this be done without an agent? Yes, oh my God, yes. Okay, this is a big one and I'm gonna finish this one here because I know that you guys don't have time to waste, like you just want the facts. Um, don't go for an agent. You don't need to go for an agent. I'm not an agent also, just to make that super, super clear. I'm just a customer. Um, don't go for an agent. It just adds extra cost. The link that I've got in the description is direct to the free zone themselves. One of their team will contact you, so I guess they are kind of an, an agent because they work for them. Um, but don't go for any agencies. I just feel like that's unnecessary cost that you don't need. Um, so yeah, you can hit the link in the description, like I said. I think that is the best thing to do. Then somebody will reach out to you, probably Paul or one of his colleagues, um, who I'm in touch with all, all the time because, I've, like I mentioned, I've actually helped quite a few of you now um, set up their free zone here in the UAE. And I love it. I, I love that I've helped so many of you. Um, I know exactly what it's like to be in your position, so it's, it's very stressful. Um, if you want to know more about what I actually do for work, then I do have a career talk uh, video where I talk through what I've been doing working in social media and I set up my business here so you can go and watch that and if not then check out my other videos all about moving to Dubai and life here in the UAE I also do weekly vlogs so if you're wondering what life in the UAE is like then go check them out and thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video bye guys